So we're going to convert the standard Angular 2 Quick Start into Webpack. The first thing we need is the Webpack install, and that is now globally installed. You can see that the project is the standard Angular 2 Quick Start using TypeScript and also System.js. The first place we'll make changes is in the package.json. Rather than, uh, we're going to use a build step, which is going to use just a Webpack command. We don't need the TSC stuff, uh, and we don't need the start or the concurrent or the light server. That's all going to be taken care of by the Webpack dev server, which we will add as a start command. We don't need in our dev dependencies concurrently or the light server because they are uh, replaced by the Webpack dev server, but we do need to add TS loader, and we'll talk about that in a moment. Let's go ahead and do our npm install to bring in all of those dependencies from npm, and that's worked fine. The next place we need to make some changes is in the TS config. Webpack doesn't understand system.js modules, so we have to export common.js modules instead so that it can recognize them and bundle them. Now we're going to add a webpack config. This is just an easy way to tell webpack what we want. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in just to go through the parts. So our entry point is the boot TS, which is in app. We are going to be outputting a bundle in a dist folder. That's going to be called bundle.js. And so that Webpack knows everything, it needs to include, obviously it needs to be able to load TypeScript. So we need to tell it that TypeScript is a valid extension. How does it load TypeScript? Well, we need to add the plugin, which is the TS loader, which effectively tells Webpack how to load TypeScript. So we've added that already in dev dependencies. That's all we need to do for our Webpack config. It's very minimal. Let's go ahead and run our build. And you can see there's immediately a problem. I think I've forgotten something. You can see that the output file name is not configured. I've made a problem with my config. It needs to be Webpack config.js. So let's go ahead and change that. Run the build again. And that's now building. You can see it's still running TypeScript. It's doing the TypeScript compilation. And that should have produced a bundle. So the bundle is in the dist folder that you can see. Now, I'm not going to open it in Sublime because it's a very, very large file. And it actually almost crashes Sublime on my machine. So I'm not going to do that. What we do need to do is we need to add the bundle into the index.html file. Um, but before we do that, we don't need any of this system stuff. So we don't need to load stuff through system.js because the bundle has everything that we need. We don't also don't need a system or Rx or Angular 2. That's all bundled into our bundle by Webpack. So instead of that, I'm going to replace all of that stuff. I'm going to leave the polyfills, but I'm now going to include the bundle.js, which we have just built. And just close my script tag. Now that should be it. So we're going to go ahead and run the uh, the build or the uh, the start, which runs our Webpack dev server, and that's going to serve all of that stuff from uh, memory. You can read up on what Webpack does there, but it's going to serve that on 8080. It's going to serve our HTML file and the bundle on 8080. But there's a problem. So let's go ahead and look at the debugger. And just looking at the console there. So this one got me for a little while. I didn't really understand this. It's saying that the my app did not match any elements. But we know that my app is a valid element in the HTML. There it is, my app. Uh, what it actually is, it's the location of the script files. It's attempting to bootstrap before it's loaded the uh, the body content. I don't really understand that. Anyone wants to shout out? What I had to do was move the scripts to after the in, into the body at the bottom of the file. So now we're including uh, polyfills. We're including the bundle. Uh, we've got my app there, and that should be it. So that's the Angular 2 quick start running under Webpack.